Hey guys, really quick tutorial on how I do kill strats. So the first part is the hardest part, which is getting the clip. Uh, this clip sucks. I kinda sorta have a setup for it, but sometimes it just doesn't work, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, the way I feel this clip works, and this is just through sheer experience, no research or science or anything, is A, the right amount of horizontal velocity, so you can't have too little and you can't have too much, and B, uh, maximum falling speed. So you need to be in the air long enough to reach terminal velocity. These two velocities combined should theoretically equal a clip. So what I do is I grab the ball and I approach the half pipe from this angle. I don't even know how to describe this angle. I don't even know if this angle's good or not, uh, but it's just what I've always done. So I go up the half pipe and I'm looking at this shadow. And when I see Gum enter the shadow, I hold hard left. And when I see her halfway into the shadow, I jump and then I hold hard right until I land. I don't think holding hard right actually does anything at any point, but it's just what I've always done. And when you land, you'll be going right anyways, so I just do it. In my experience, this setup usually gives me a falling angle that will clip. Although, like I said, sometimes it just doesn't. And it's infuriating, and you just have to do the race like an idiot. So once I've clipped, I go to this point right here. I skid and face towards the camera, and then I center the camera. And then I go here, and I skid and face the camera again, and this is my position. So the point of that movement was to manipulate the CPU's positions and the angle that they're facing. This does two things. It makes the CPU face directly into the wall, so that when you kill their AI, they're easy to manage. And it also gives me a good angle to throw the ball away without it bouncing back in bounds. So I'm in position, and I wait for the CPU to get close. And when the second one crosses this line right here, I throw the ball away, and I go behind the second one, and I start killing. I go back and forth like this with very small, slight movements on the control stick. So if you're on a third party controller, uh, my condolences. But my general strat is to, first of all, always approach them from directly behind. Uh, don't come at an angle because that seems to increase the odds of them tanking your hit. And most importantly, I want to hit them while my stick is in neutral. As long as you're decelerating as their iframes run out, then the hit usually goes through as soon as possible. So having said all that, uh, the movement you're seeing in this footage isn't super great. You've probably seen me stutter a couple times at this point and my cornering is kind of bad. But the reason I chose this footage is because I did the manip well enough that this love shocker right here is caught in the corner so that every time I hit her, she doesn't go anywhere. This is optimal because one of the most important things about this trick is making sure the CPUs don't hit each other. So for instance, after I activate the iframes, I'm kind of nudging her away from the other before I circle back around again. That's so they don't get too close to each other. This is better than having the left one get too far away, and then losing time because you have to travel so far between the two of them as you're killing them. And that's pretty much it. If you get no tanked hits at all, uh, then you'll have to hit the last one twice in a row, so this strat is not optimal. It can definitely be improved, but it works. So on average, if everything goes right, I usually save around 15, maybe close to 20 seconds per race over an optimal race. If you're trying to do this strat and you're consistently losing 15 seconds over your average race due to bad movement or bad CPU manipulation or whatever, I suggest just doing the race. This strat is very, very easy to lose more time than you gain if you're not super consistent with getting the clip and managing the CPU and killing them efficiently. So that's basically what I do. If you have any questions, find me on Discord. Thanks for watching.